please, but I was a little bit worried about this idea of your ministers. Linking honours to economies and all that. Oh, that? You've heard about that. A lot of nonsense. <laughs> ah, good. You mean it's not true? <laughs> <laughs> well, not exactly. Uh, that is, he did just mention it. But, um... But what? Well, I, I, I can't find any effective arguments against it. Humphrey, this is the thin end of the wedge. That's what I said. A Benite solution. I said that. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> no, it's intolerable, but um, <laughs> irresistible. Yes, well, I'm not in any sense reprimanding you. I don't know the facts well enough. Uh, but as head of the service, I would like your assurance that he won't be putting it into practice. Well, I certainly hope he won't be. <laughs> I'm not sure that hopes are quite good enough. <laughs> Suppose he did apply it to your department. The contagion would spread throughout the government. Every department. So presumably we can count on you. Well, I shall certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's rather tricky. <laughs> well, I'm sure you know what you're doing. But this could cause people to reflect on your soundness. Of course, I have no doubts about you myself, but um, anyway, I thought it might be useful to have a little chat. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Arnold. <laughs> oh, by the way, I had the master of our old college on the phone just now. Oh. He said you dined at Bailey last week. That's right. I told him I was sure you'd get your minister to treat them as a special case. I hope I was right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, at any rate, um, I've got the minister coming down to a benefactor's dinner. Good. Sound man. Well, I must be getting over to number 10. Thanks for dropping in, Humphrey. Oh, pleasure. Arnold. <laughs> I gather Sir Humphrey saw the Cabinet Secretary yesterday and got the most frightful wigging. Really? Yes, really tore him off a strip. Because of your brilliant scheme linking economies to honours. Your scheme, you mean, brother? Uh, I think we've been through all that before. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My scheme. <laughs> How does the Cabinet Secretary give a wigging to someone as high up as Humphrey? Well, normally, I gather, it's pretty civilised, but this time, apparently, it was no holds barred. Sir Arnold told Sir Humphrey he wasn't actually reprimanding him. Bad as that, was it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he actually suggested that some people might not think Sir Humphrey was sound. Mm hmm. A real punch-up. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but what has Sir Arnold to fear, anyway? He's got all the honours he could want, surely. Well, naturally, he has his G. G? Yes, you get your G after your K. You speak in riddles, Bernard. <laughs> well, take the Foreign Office. First you get the CMG, then the KCMG, then the GCMG. The Commander of the Order of St. Michael and St. George, Knight Commander of St. Michael and St. George, Knight Grand Cross of St. Michael and St. George. <laughs> of course, in the service, CMG stands for Call Me God. <laughs> and uh, the KCMG for kindly call me God. <laughs> what does GCMG stand for? God calls me God. <laughs> well, why should Sir Arnold worry? He's got his full quota of honours, hasn't he? Certainly not. Nowhere near. There's a peerage, the CH, the OM, the Order of the Garter, the Knight of the Thistle. Knight and... of the Thistle? Who gets that? Scotsmen and donkeys? <laughs> <laughs> there is a distinction, Minister. You evidently haven't met the Scottish nationalists. <laughs> How do they award the thistle? A committee sits on it. 